I get ashy. The knuckles get ashy. Everything get ashy. And I know you taste this a little bit. What it do, what it do, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, girl. If you are new here, my name is Shayla, and I go by Shay. I film beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and nursing school content. So, if you like any of those things that I just mentioned, then, baby, subscribe, because this is the spot for you, period. Hey you guys, I am back with another nursing school video today. I'm excited to be sitting down with you guys and discussing, as you can tell by the title of today's video, a what's in my clinical bag for my last semester of nursing school. I'm so excited. Um, if you watch my back to school haul video not too long ago, I told you guys I would give you guys a video of everything that's in my clinical bag. I told you I'd give it to you in a separate video. So, here we are. So, I'm not going to ramble too long. If I have any items to link for you, you know you can check the description box. I'll have everything that I can possibly find down there for you. I make sure it's pretty for you guys every single video. So, um, yeah, just check that out. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, you. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so in today's video, I'm not going to go in any specific order. I'm just going to show you guys my bag, tell you where I got it from, all those good things. And um, we'll just go from there, pocket by pocket. So this is a Bag Smart bag. Um, I believe it's a yoga tote or something like that. Um, us nursing students have deemed it. <laughs> to be our nursing school bag you can as you can see from so many other nursing school videos because i'm sure this ain't your first but since you're here subscribe don't worry i'll wait yeah subscribe so um a lot of us have deemed this as our nursing school bag um i will say this is not one of the overrated items that a lot of us nursing students tend um to all get this isn't one of those overrated items that you don't need. This item is actually very functional. I love this bag. I have it in blush pink and I have it in black. I love this bag. As a matter of fact, I can stand on that. I can stand on that. I love this bag. And it's not, it's sturdy. It's sturdy and it doesn't really get dirty. If it does get dirty, you can just throw it in the wash machine. It's very flexible. It's not like a leather bag. And then once it gets stained or scuffed, it's just done for. This is a good bag. So, the structure of the bag just has a pocket in the front here, uh, no Velcro or anything like that to hold it closed, but it is a small pocket, so nothing tends to fall out. Um, I have two pockets on the side. As you can see, one houses my tumbler. I'll just tell you guys about that. This tumbler, this, blah, 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 blah. this tumbler is from Walmart, um, so I'll link it if I can find it. Uh, love this tumbler. I just put my drinks in there. Water, coffee, juice, whatever I'm drinking at the time, it's in here. And I have lots of tumblers, so I just switch them out. If you know me, you know I love my cups. So, um, yeah, I just switch those out. In my front pocket right here, you can see that I have my badge reel on um, here. And it just has my ID. And it also has my Tribe RN um, cards. These cards are actually very good little cheat sheets. Um, they just tell you about a whole bunch of things. I have used this the entire time that I've been in nursing school and been at clinical. I even use these in class. So, um, yeah, they are very good. They'll tell you like right here, for instance, cause I don't have all of them on here. It's talking about like cardiac drips and drugs, medication antidotes. It has the pain assessment tool on here. Um, I have some EKGs, common EKGs on here, and just a whole bunch of different stuff. Temperature between Fahrenheit and Celsius, we always get those. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I'll be getting it mixed up. 
Ah, your girl be getting it mixed up. So, um, yeah, it just has a lot of um, good information on here. It even has Spanish translations on here, so you can say some basic things to your patient um, in Spanish. So, really love these Tribe RN cards. I'll link them down below. I got them from Amazon, and they were not too expensive. So, that's this. And also, I just want to take a second and show you guys my cute little black girl badge reel. How cute is she? She's so cute. Um... I believe my mother got me these. Uh, there's a whole bunch of um, women of color badge reels that came in a pack. I believe it was very inexpensive. If I can find them, I'll link them because my mom did buy them. Um, but yes, I love switching out my badge reels. My last badge reel was um, the same badge reel that my clinical group last semester, we all got the same badge reel. It was so cute. It said fa uh, Fab Five on there. Um, and yeah, I love that badge reel. I still have it, um, but I decided to switch it out this semester. And yeah, because I think she's cute. My other one's cute too, but I, I think she's cute too. So yeah, that's my badge reel. In this same front pocket here, you can see I have a little hand sanitizer on my handle. And I also have my little notepad here. This is just for when um, I need to just jot down some notes or um, vitals, if I take vitals or whatever. I just jot things down in here, either by my patient, so I can go into our little charting system because we chart separately from the hospital now. Um, I just jot little things down in here. Um, very helpful. I keep it in my scrub pocket, actually. Then I also have gum in here and I have mints so um, nine times out of ten I'll just chew the little Listerine tab you just chew them swish and spit I really like these um, they are quite strong though they do have like a very fresh Listerine taste so if you're not into that this ain't for you but if you like a strong clean fresh Listerine taste these are it and then I also have gum um, it is just a little bit unprofessional to be chewing all throughout the hospital. It's kind of a little ghetto. But nine times out of ten, I do wear a mask. And I'll just chew on a little piece here and there. Uh, here and there. So I do carry these too. Last thing that's in this front pocket is my watch. So I just recently got a new watch. This one is from Walmart. It was like $10. It's black. It fits, she fits the vibes. She fits the vibes. But um, some schools allow you to have a, a Apple Watch in clinical. My school doesn't, just like many others. My school doesn't. So you need a time with um, a watch with a second hand, with the hands on it. Um, and I actually do prefer these because if you're looking at the Apple Watch and you're like counting respirations or you're counting... Um, the heart rate or anything like that the apple watch will time out after like 10 seconds and then you gotta start over that's not cute to be sitting there three minutes ten minutes counting breaths that's not cute that is not cute so i really do prefer the regular watch when i'm counting um the seconds on the clock so i can just get it done get out of my patient's way and yeah so you need a second hand watch and that's everything, oh, besides my little pin here. But I told you guys about these G2 pins. If you know, you know. Very good pin. And I, I take the bold print. Bold print. Okay, so um, I showed you what's in one pocket on the side. That was my drink cup. In the other pocket, I just have snacks. Your girl gonna carry a snack. One thing about me, I'm gonna carry a snack. And all of my um, nursing school friends, they already know, I'm going to have a snack, okay? So, um, just the snacks that I have with me today. These are some lighter snacks because I'm trying to be more uh, conscious about just, you know, the things that I eat. I'm not 100% healthy now, but uh, I do try here and there to eat healthier things. So, these are some of those. This is just my um, new favorite snack. It's the Nature's Bakery Oatmeal Crumble Snack in the flavor strawberry. I love these snacks right here. If you have not tried them, they're in Walmart. I think they're in Publix and everywhere else too in your grocery stores. 
get this. It's so good. If you try it and taste it, let me know because I really love these. Then I also have my Kind Bar with oats and honey. When I first started um, to get these, I really loved them. These days, I don't reach for them that often, but it is a good snack. Healthy. Um, it's gluten-free for my gluten-free friends out there. So um, I carry these um, for myself and my friends, you know, if they don't have a snack or if somebody has a gluten-free allergy. I mean, if somebody has a gluten allergy and needs a snack, boom, here it is. And then I, I gotta have a fruit snack. Got to have a fruit snack. I just have these uh, Welch's uh, tropical fruit snacks. So those are just the snacks that I carry with me today. But my snacks do vary. I carry all kinds of snacks with me. Now we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes of this bag. Finally, inside the bag, it is divided into two larger sections there are pockets in the center here there's also a zipper on the side right here and let's just get into the stuff because this bag is heavy okay so the thing that is weighing my bag down is my laptop seven times out of ten i'll carry my laptop with me if i want to chart like on my own computer but there are computers at clinical but I just sometimes I like to be out of the nurse's way so I'll carry my own and just get on the Wi-Fi and chart but yeah that laptop bag holds my laptop it holds my charger my iPad and all the things so that's that and then the other thing on this other uh, bigger side of my bag is just my folder I put paperwork in here like helpful handouts that someone may give us or our clinical instructor may give us I keep my skills checkoff sheet in here um, and skills checkoff is basically just where you practice certain skills before you go into the hospital to make sure you're like proficient at doing them so <laughs> um, I just keep these in here and just little handouts or sometimes I'll put my latte notes in here and study at clinical don't shoot me. But sometimes when I have free time, sometimes it is slow, I'll look at my notes. But other than that, I'm on the floor getting into all the good things and, you know, seeing everything there is to see and doing all the skills that there is to do. So, yeah. All right. So that's all that's in that side of my bag. Now I'm going to get into the right side of my bag. I'm going to start with these pockets here. I have my um, hand sanitizer. This one is a spray version. Um, there's a whole bunch of hand sanitizer all over the hospital, but it don't smell like this. So, um, wash your hands. Hand hygiene. Let's start there. This, by no means is this better than washing your hands, but it is very good. Um, smells very good. This is the pineapple coconut scent, so you just take it, spray. Oh, it smells like fruity and islandy. I just love it. So that's that. And then I also have like a body mist in here. This one happens to be a thousand wishes and all these are from Bath and Body Works. I showed you guys these in my back to school haul. So I just have these to freshen up. And then I also have the a thousand wishes um, little hand cream uh, because if you're in the hospital, you tend to wash your hands. A billion times a day so you got to have a little something to put on your hands after that to keep them moisturized because baby i be getting ashy your girl be getting ashy i don't know about y'all some people got magic hands where they don't get like bone white after they wash their hands i get ashy the knuckles get ashy everything get ashy so i have to uh just keep some hand cream in here and whenever i remember i'll put it on my hands or whatever last thing in this first pocket are my um nursing shears i normally keep these in my scrub pocket with me um just because you never know when the nurse might need some scissors or you may be doing a skill miss future nurse or mr future nurse um might be doing a skill that requires you to uh, pull out those shears and maybe cut a dressing or cut some tape or whatever cut something and you have them you gotta stay prepared you gotta stay prepared all right, that's all that's in that first pocket. In the next pocket, I just have some Kleenex on the go tissues. Um, just in case I need them. I don't normally need them, but I got them. Um, also, I have in that same pocket, 
I have highlighters, I have a dry erase marker, I have another G2 pen, swear by them, and I have my pen light. So my highlighters are gonna be for like if I need to highlight something in the patient's chart or if I need to highlight something in the patient education, like if a patient is being discharged or something like that, you tend to highlight the important parts because ain't nobody gonna read all that. So you tend to highlight the um, specific things that the patient needs to pay specific attention to. And my dry erase marker is gonna be for like inside the patient's room, they tend to be dry erase boards. And sometimes you need to change the date or sometimes you need to change the nurse's name or sometimes you need to add your name um, because you'll be helping that nurse today. So I keep me a dry erase marker so I can write on that board. And um, with a Sharpie, sometimes you'll have to uh, write on a patient's dressing or like write something you may need a, a permanent marker for something and lastly I do have my pen light um, if you've watched a lot of nursing school videos um, you cannot use LED lights uh, in the patient eye, in the patient's eyes because they tend to be a little bit more harsh this one I will tell you is a soft LED light it came in a pack of like six or eight or something like that it was very cheap I have a pack of eight, I've only needed to use one. That's how long they last. And I've been using this same one for like two years. I love it. Um, so yeah, I will link this down below. Of course it has the pupil sizes on there. Um, and it's a soft, uh, it's not an LED light, it's a soft light. Cause you don't wanna be blinding people. Mm -hmm. Put that LED light up. Go get you a soft white light. It's in the description box. Just click it. I'll wait. Just click it. Go ahead. Um, and that's all that's in that pocket right there. So wrap all this up. We're getting into the last part of my bag. And in here, I have my drug guide. Um, in nursing school, if you have, um, if you're in clinicals and you have like a, a med pass or something like that, you're going to need your drug guide so you can look up medications and things like that so you know what you're giving your patient. You gotta do those six rights. You gotta know what, what you're giving your patient and educate your patient on what they're taking so they have informed decision on whether they wanna take them or not or you know, just tell them what to look out for. So this is mine. I'm very proud of my drug guide and everybody who sees my drug guide tells me the same thing. Um, yeah, cause I'll be studying. I don't be playing. I don't be playing. If you're gonna be studying, I'll be reading. So, yeah, I just um, bring this with me so I can look up my meds. Every now and again, there'll be a med that's not in there, but nine times out of ten, this has every single drug that you're going to need while you're doing your medication pass. Um, another thing in here, I have this little zipper bag here, and I'm going to call this my rescue bag. Let's, let's call it my rescue bag because I have all of my little personal items in here that I may ever need if I need them. So, let's get into the bag. Let's get into this rescue bag. What's in here? I'm going to tell you. So, I just have some hair accessories like a clip and a scrunchie. Um, every now and again, I have a scrunchie that breaks on me and you have to have your hair tied up in clinical. And it's nothing more annoying than when your scrunchie break. Oh, I got an extra one. Because I always do my hair before I go to clinical. But every now and again, I'll have one that breaks on me. So I just got to keep one in here just in case. Because I just can't deal. Um, next thing I have in here is some Aleve. I rarely ever get like like super sick or something like that in clinical. But if I do like have a cold or something, I'll put cough drops and like um, cold medicine in here inside this bag. I also have like little feminine products like pads and tampons in here. I also have these little shot wipes. These are like top tier. Top tier in nursing school. If you're a messy eater like me, you're going to need these. Um, I just take it, wipe it on my uh, scrub top, and it dries within like a couple of minutes, and you're good to go. Nobody ain't going to ever know you had that chili dog. Ain't nobody going to know. Ain't nobody gonna know. And um, the last thing I have in this bag is my uh, essential oils. This is something new um, that I've added to my clinical bag. Um, 
because in the hospital, everything don't smell like roses and daisies. It don't. Everything don't smell good. So, um, I just take this, uh, put a couple of drops on my mask or dab it on my finger, put it right here, and that scent is gone. I'm telling you, like, if you have a patient with C. diff, if you know, you know. Anyway, if you have a patient with C. diff or if you have a patient who hasn't been taking care of the best or is unable to properly clean themselves, you know, or if you have a patient who went number, went number, and everything doesn't smell so good. So just go in, arm yourself with this before you go in, put it a couple drops in your mask and you won't smell a thing, girl. So that's that. I love this. And this is the Focus scent. It came from Target. I'll link it down below. Top tier, for sure. Love this scent. The last couple of things that I have in my bag are note cards. Some people hate them. Some people love them. I love them. I mostly only use these now for med cards. Yeah, it's more so for like study purposes if I'm looking at medications like in clinical or if I need to write something down in clinical um, and take it home with me, I will use these. Otherwise, I'll use my little notepad if I'm like telling the patient about something. And the last thing, of course, it is not a nursing school video if you do not have your stethoscope. So this is my stethoscope. Yes, it does not have the case on it. Girl, that was one of the things, if, out of all the YouTube videos you watch, and everybody has that same case with the little uh, EKG strip on it, same case, baby, don't nobody use that. Don't nobody use that. But at least I don't, because she's too big. It's just too big. It's not going to fit in my bag with my drug guide and my laptop and all the other things. So, honey, she's too big. She's too hefty. But, um... I was one of the ones who purchased that too, and I do not use it anymore. So sad. But yeah, and um, I've had no problems out of my stethoscope. It's a Litman, uh, I think a Litman 3 or something like that. One of the ones that everybody said I get. But I have no problems out of this stethoscope. I still can hear lung sounds, heart sounds, um, respirations, and abdominal gurgles, and all that good stuff. I can still hear it with this stethoscope, and she's been without the case. So yeah, that's that. And then this tiny little zipper, I just have my N95 and also my surgical masks. You see the vibes, it's black, gotta have my own. So yeah, that's that. And I have my chopstick. And that is everything that is in this big old clinical bag. So as I told you guys before, all of the links will be in the description box down below. Honey, she's set up. She's cute. Wait for you to click her. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I hope that you have some good takeaways from today's video. I hope you go and buy a couple of things. I do not use affiliate links. Your girl's a small, small YouTube. So I don't use any affiliate links or anything like that. Not that that's a bad thing. Get your coins, sis. And that's all for today's video. Please make sure you like, comment, and and subscribe yes you make sure you stay tuned for more content coming up in the near future and i'm gonna see you when i see ya peace and i know you taste this a little bit